In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a software called Brainwork. Now, Brainwork is the new AI-powered writing assistant that helps you write engaging, SEO-friendly long-form content and blog posts that all can be done at the click of a button. Now, if you've got any questions at all about Brainwork, please drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I possibly can. Also, I have left a discount link in the description below so that you'll always get the best deal with Brainwork. Now, with that said, let's get over to Brainwork and let's see what this software can do. So here we are in the Brainwork dashboard. As you can see, it's a very simple, easy laid out dashboard. So as soon as you come in there, you know exactly what you need to do. Down here on the left hand side, we've got the navigation and we've also got the navigation across the front of the screen. On the left hand side, you've got the AI writing assistant, blog titles and outlines. This basically allows you to access everything that you need to do when you want to go and do your writing. You've also got keyword research, what's new, the affiliate program and tutorials. What's new is basically where he takes you over to the release notes. This is everything that um, the, the guys at Brainwork have done to the program so far, what they've improved and potentially what they're going to be improving in the future. Now, rather than going through all these one by one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate all about the AI writing assistant because that's really where you're going to be doing the majority of your work. So in order to create a new blog post, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the project manager. We're going to click on a new project and I'm going to call this mountain biking and I'm going to click save. I'm going to click on that and that takes us back to the dashboard. Now, what we've done, we've actually now created a folder where we can keep all of our projects all to do or sorry all of our posts all to do with mountain biking i'm then going to click on new post and i'm going to enter a basic keyword so i'm going to put in how to i'm going to click continue this is going to tell us whether we're going to be able to get a good generated content or not and this is telling us that there's a high probability that the content generated is going to be good so we're going to click continue and then going to choose some of these keywords it's asking us to choose up to five. What this will do, this will allow it to generate some more titles for us and get it, give it a better idea on what the software is going to create. Now here in the editor, you can see that it's, it's a very similar to the majority of editors you'll be used to using. It's a bigger version of the WordPress editor, which I think is absolutely great because it's simple to use. Down here on the left hand side, you've got the assistant, which is this thing just on the right hand side. That's just out of shot at the moment. You've got the preview where you can preview the post that you've created. Save where you can save it. Plagiarism checker. Publish the post. This will allow you to publish to WordPress or places like that. You can share it obviously to the social media sites. You can download it. This allows you to download it in HTML format, PDF format, and a few others. You've got tutorials. You can delete the article if you don't like it. And also you can access, uh, exit the editor if you want to. Now, there are several ways in which you can use this. You can create your own outline and start from scratch, or you can allow the editor to actually do it for you. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do the clicking of a button and we're going to allow it to choose our titles and then we're going to get it to do our outline and then we're going to flesh the content out from there. So we're going to click on generate and it's basically giving us three titles. I'm going to go with this middle one because I want a buyer's guide. We're then going to go to outline and what this will do, this will create outlines based on what we've chosen here. So we'll click generate. And I'm going to run with that. Actually, I'm going to generate one more just to see what it gives me. I'm going to go with number one because I quite like the listicle. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start fleshing this article out by choosing that and then clicking paragraph. And I'll do this for all of them. Now, as you can see, it's done a pretty good job of just giving us some content at this moment in time. Now, what you will find is it will start to generate a lot more content. So you might have to go through and just tidy this up. So I'm going to go through and see if there's anywhere that needs tidying up before I continue. OK, so what I've done is I've just gone through the article itself and just read what it's basically written for me. Um, and I've just deleted some of the, the extra content that it's written where it kind of stops. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to make all these heading to. So you basically highlight it, click heading to. So I'll go through and do all of those as well. Uh, 
Now it's starting to look quite good. And at this moment in time, we're at 563 words. So literally within a few minutes, we've created an article around about nearly 600 words long. Now what we can do to start fleshing this out more is we can start telling the writer exactly what it is that we want to do. In order to do, to do that, we have to create a little bit more content and that will then jog it along to actually start creating the content for us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little sentence in between here um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what I've done and then I'm going to show you how this how the writer actually creates more content for you. So I've basically written the different kinds of terrain mountain bikers ride on include. We're going to highlight that. I'm going to click on listicle up there or you can click on listicle here as well. And what I should hope you do is create some more content for us that we can start fleshing out even more. And you can do that throughout all of your article. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to flesh out a little bit more of this article. So what I've done, I've done the basic process of what I did here. And I just wrote an extra little sentence and then did listicle again. And what it's done, it's created some more content for me and the same down here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and flesh it out by basically clicking in here or highlighting that. Now you can see at the moment in time it says paragraph 45%. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to jog it along a little bit and write a little bit of content below that to allow it to actually start generating the content again. So I'll go ahead and do that and then start generating the content. Sort of basically wrote, so from this heading here, I've put the rectangle frame on the mountain bike and I'm going to click the green button. So basically what that's done, it's followed on. What it's done, it's also put um, some extra numbers down here. Okay, so what it's trying to do, it's trying to follow on, which is not a big deal. We can get rid of that little bit there, square this up a little bit, and then click on the green button again. We're going to continue with this process now. So what I've done is on the square frame, the square frame is better suited for downhill riding, and uh, that's just then going to carry on with that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm writing short sentences based on the actual heading itself, and I'm going to get the AI writer to continue for me. So I've put the, the oval frame is a good choice for riders and it's going to then obviously continue with that. It will start writing out some of the content that it thinks we want, but we'll get rid of that because all we're trying to do is just flesh out this a little bit more. So I'm going to just pause the video again, just while I flesh out the rest of this content. Okay, so I've just basically gone out there and I just wrote some extra sentences to get Brainwork to carry on the, uh, the writing for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead now and make all these H3s. So we're now up to 847 characters and it's done a pretty good job at this moment in time of creating a really good outline and it reads really well. One of the other great things about Brainwork is it actually incorporates an SEO analyzer. So when you click this, it basically allows you to see whether um, your SEO score on your article is any good or not. So as you can see, we've got a few green lights going on at this moment in time. Also down here, it allows you to set a featured image. So when we click on that, something like this, because I think it kind of highlights what we're actually doing. And then what you can do, you can go over and you can preview this. So we'll click on preview. And that basically shows us what your article is going to look like when you've completed it, which I think is a really, really good thing. What you'll also notice with the assistant is the keyword section. So what this does, this has actually generated a load of keywords for us as well, which is basically related to the article that we've created. So we can bring these over and flesh this article out even more to make an absolutely huge article. So as you can see, the power of Brainwork is really great. It's a simple system to use and it will generate some quality content for you really quickly. And as mentioned before, you've got the um, ability to check your plagiarism. So it's got a built-in plagiarism checker. And the content that it's created, there's basically no plagiarism found, which is absolutely amazing. As you can see, Brainwork is a really good bit of software. The things that I really like about it is how easy the content flows from start to finish. You can basically click a few buttons and you've already got a great outline for your post straight away. It's good. The content that it spits out is really good as well. And you've also got the built-in plagiarism checker. Some of the things that I don't like about it is when you're trying to format your post and you're trying to do your H2s and your H3s, you have to keep scrolling up, choosing your H3 or your H2, scroll back down and highlight another one. Now, I don't think that's a great deal breaker, but it really could do with being a lot easier to do. So if you highlighted it and you had a floating bar, I think that'd be so much better. Overall, I really like this program and I'm going to give it four stars. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you again soon.